Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and today I'm doing a review of Blade of Darkness on the Nintendo Switch. Now this is a remastered version of a game called Severance Blade of Darkness that was originally released back in 2001. Now um, developed originally by Rebel Act Studios. Um, the remastered version came out for its 20th anniversary on pc last year and it's now been brought over to the nintendo switch through the eShop, thanks to cubic games who were kind enough to send me a copy for this video review now this is a classic old school fantasy game now it's amazing how well it looks and it runs to say obviously this is a sort of 20 year old game and from what I can tell the remaster is in sense just upscaling it to run in like modern sort of specifications modern resolutions stuff like that so it, it runs full screen and that's about it the rest of the game seems to be pretty much identical to what i can gather was the original game now the game sees you playing as one of four heroes who are basically um sent to obtain this powerful sword kill the evil necromancer dal gurak and then uh, descend into the abyss for a final confrontation uh, with the chaos child now from the get-go you get to play as four different characters each of them with different stats and abilities so um you've got uh, apologies if i'm butchering them here tukaraman uh, who is a barbarian, Nagalfar, who's a dwarf, Sargon the Knight, uh, or Zoe the Amazon. So each of them have unique strengths and weaknesses and fighting skills and stuff like that. Obviously, there's more of like range, there's your sort of running and fighting, hack and slash sort of style. <clears throat> but each of them start in a different area. So they have like a unique starting point point to the game however like i say as you progress you eventually end up in the same sort of levels so it, it's more just the starting point is different starting areas and then as the story progresses you all end up on the same sort of path to the end of the game now combat is hard um it's all about sort of learning combo attacks dodging chopping off your uh, enemies limbs and stuff like that it's very gory but really fun once you get used to it now control wise this is the worst part of the game it has a lot of old school jank to it now like i say it, it, it's a game of its time like i say it looks and plays like a 2001 game it's a great sort of time capsule of what gaming used to be like back then like I say I, I love playing retro games especially retro games that have been remastered for modern systems so they're the same game but they have sort of like updated visuals or they just have like achievements and stuff like that so I hope this does eventually come to uh, other consoles like Xbox and stuff like that but you can definitely tell this was a PC game at heart now the control scheme hasn't been too badly ported over to the switch i thought it was pretty decent like i say it is a bit clunky you've got a lot of tankness to it like i say you've got to get used to and the camera and stuff like that and your collision isn't perfect but it doesn't ruin the game in any way it's just like that old school style retroness of a game um it happens in most of them um it's it's just a game of its time now the combat like i say is fun um, and there's a lot of it in the game, but it is very dated. It may not be for everyone, so just bear that in mind. But it's all about sort of locking onto your enemies, dodging around them, hitting your attacks and stuff like that, and trying not to be battered by them, basically. Um, <clears throat> it does get to a point where you end up fighting more than one enemy at a time, so you've just got to sort of do your best, avoid them, and sort of hit multiple ones with your attacks, basically. Now, overall, like I say, I enjoyed this game. It's a nice 
sort of change of pace to sort of modern RPGs. And like I say, I am a big sort of retro fan. And this one, like I say, in its heyday, it had destroyable in-game objects. You could literally you get you light boxes on fire with uh, torches and stuff like that. There's loads of interactable sort of um, puzzles and stuff that in traps and everything and levers you have to interact with. So back in the day, like I say, it was probably really sort of like on the money for its time, but it has shown sort of um, datedness nowadays. But like I say, for the for the game itself, you can't really really beat it. To be fair, now the game is available right now, priced at thirteen pound and forty nine pence normally. However, it is on sale for a couple more days at forty percent off. So if you are looking to get the game like i say if you want to pick it up before christmas you can pick it up for just over eight pound which is an absolute steal for a game like this it's an old school fantasy game dark grimy environments however they still look really good a nice variety of different enemies you're fighting orcs and skeletons and stuff like that a variety of different weapons you can wield like i say you can pick up different shields different weapons each of them have different stats and abilities very cool sort of old school rpg so pick this up it's available right now you can also get it on at pc so like i say if you're not a super fan of the, the controls, I probably recommend playing it on PC. I think it would work better with a mouse and keyboard. However, if you've only got a Switch, it's not the worst port I've ever seen of this type of game. And it's always nice to have um, modern accessibility in sort of old school games. All about um, that game preservation and stuff like that. So big shout out to the developers for keeping up with it, bringing it back out 20 years later and... Uh, letting us all play it like i say even though it's not perfect it's still great to be able to go back and play a game i never played originally and would normally be sort of lost to the sort of barons of time and that one friend who happens to have a, a cd copy somewhere in his like basement do you know what i mean so uh i love it when devs re-release cool old games but that's that for this video guys hope you've enjoyed it if you have hit that like button hit subscribe and leave a comment down below let us know if there's any other sort of old school games that are out on switch or other consoles that you'd like to see us try out and let you guys know what we think about them but then that we'll see you soon for more gaming content guys bye for now